Hey guys, I'm still sweeping up this floor, but I have another weapon to show to you. My broom just disappeared! What happened to it? It's just gone! Now I'm just looking like a crazy person. Well, crazy enough to show you that I have another weapon for you to review on today, and it is the Positive Outlook Assault Rifle, one of the very first weapons you get in Destiny 2's uh, Curse of Osiris DLC. I highly suggest picking this one up because all assault rifles in this game are very good, and this is a very good assault rifle contender right up there with the uh, Uriel's Gift. And in this video, I'm going to show you why. And so we have uh, different li different kinds of sights. Obviously, you want to choose. I'm choosing one that uh, does the best job of increasing the uh, range on it. And so I'm choosing the Flash SH5. And uh, we're here. I think this kind of depends on how the situation you're, you're using your positive outlook assault rifle. Because we have accurized rounds, which obviously increase range. And then, uh, or do you have armored piercing rounds, which, uh, you know, uh, rounds cause extra damage to combatants' shields and over penetrate targets, slightly increases range, which is less than the range that's uh, increased with the accurized rounds. I would suggest if you're doing PvP, use accurized rounds to get that increased range. If you're doing PvE, I suggest doing uh, armored piercing rounds, uh, just because uh, you don't really need that range boost. And that slight little range boost that you'll get in, with uh, with accurate rounds is not going to be that important when it comes to PVE stuff. Uh, but for PVE PVP stuff, certainly. And then we have kill clip is the trait on it. Uh, the trait is uh, reloading after a kill grants you increased damage. And this is very very useful in pretty much every situation in the game. Though I think it only lasts for about three seconds, so it's not going to be a huge bonus. But if you can time it right in PvP, it is very lethal. And also, it's obviously going to help you a lot with PvP, or PvE, you're going to be seeing that a lot. You're seeing a lot of benefit with this as well. This is right up there, what I say, with the Uriel's Gift when it comes to uh, some of the best assault rifles in the game. It has the exact same rate of fire. Uh, we can compare stats here, actually. Uh, the way I have my aerial skiff spec'd out and when I have the positive outlook spec'd out, you actually have better range with the positive outlook, better stability, and better reload time with slightly weaker handling compared to the Uriel's Gift. Both have 450 rounds per minute, both have 33 rounds in the magazine. The thing with the Uriel's though, it has high caliber rounds on it, and high caliber rounds are so good in PvP, it's absurd. It's even good in PvE as well, just because you get that knockback effect. Uh, but especially in PvP, that's why you've seen that this gun, uh, Euro's Gift, so much. But I say if you want to mix it up, try something different. If you want to try, see if you can try your luck to get the uh, kill clip activated, which will give you a considerable bonus. I suggest try out the positive outlook. You will, you know, you won't be missing out on much on this weapon. I suggest using it. Great weapon. Uh, if I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it like a an A minus, uh, just because obviously a uh, Uriel's gift is an A weapon, top tier, and just because it doesn't have high caliber rounds, I'd give it an A minus. But it's still really good. I suggest giving it a go. You will not be missing out on anything else with uh, your assault rifle usage. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to tap that like button. If you know you want to see more content like this, and it greatly helps out the video. And if you want to see some more content from me, uh, you know, make sure to tap the subscribe button because I'm always uploading awesomeness on this channel. And uh, if you want to see another weapon reviewed on this video on this channel, please make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I do read, read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Check out the videos on the screen right now. I'll catch you all in the next video.